This video is on how to final assemble your CO2 jackster so that you get your finished product that looks a little like this. All right, so you take your unfinished car and the CO2 cartridge is going to go this way in the back like this. And that way when it gets pierced, it's going to launch straight down the track. Uh, but you can put that out to the side for right now. Um, we got a lot of different pieces. These are the axles that hold the wheels together. Uh, this tube is just a little plastic tube that goes in the axle holes that will help reduce the friction of the axles when they're uh, rolling down the track. As you can tell, it's uh, a little bit smoother when you uh, roll it. So we're going to put the uh, shar through the hole. You want it to just stick out the other side and get rid of any of that loose wood that uh, may be stuck in there. You're going to push this so that it's flat with the side of the wood. You're going to go to the other side. You're going to gently pinch it, bring it out a little bit, and then cut it. And then you're going to squish it back so that it's flush with the wood and you can't feel the straw on either side. And you want to do that for both ends. So now I'm going to go to the other end, put the straw through, and make it flush, pull it out a little bit, cut out the excess, and then make sure it's flush on this end, which it is. So we're good with that. Uh, the wheels that you have, when they're manufactured, is called injection molding. The process is called, and that will actually give you this little uh, classic nub that you actually need to go back with your sandpaper, and you need to sand that little plastic piece down, and you can do a little bit of sanding and scuff up all the way around the wheel that we found over the years has given you a little bit more traction on the track, so that's nice and smooth. Do the same for all your wheels. And for the interest of the time, I'll just skip the rest. But you get the idea. You want to make sure each uh, wheel is nice and smooth and there's not even any tiny little uh, pieces that are sticking out. Alright, so now we're up to the point where we have our plastic tube in there. We're going to put our metal rod through. And on each side, we got these little brass washers. And they're super small. But they're going to keep the wheels from rubbing. So we're going to put one on each side. Yeah. The other one on the other side. And uh, we're going to have the small wheels up front, the big wheels at back, just like a real dragster. So you can put one on each side, just get it going a little bit, squeeze it on there. Get the other one. And these are pretty tricky to uh, put on, so you need to gently and evenly squish them together. And if it stops spinning, uh, you just hold one side and gently twist and pull the other side until it starts spinning again and get a nice smooth uh, rod. And then you do the same for the back. Just give you a different view. Put the axle through. Put the little brass washers on. And then put the big wheels in the back. Uh, put one on each side. Yeah, you want evenly uh, and constantly squish them together. And notice how I squished it together and now it's stuck. All you do is hold one side and twist and pull the other side until it starts spinning again. There we go. Uh, when it's on the track, there's no turning, so we need to have this guideline that goes along the track, which is just a fishing line. Uh, and we actually thread it through these two little eye hooks. So one needs to go in the front, one needs to go in the back of your car, on the bottom of it. And you center it, and you make sure you don't screw into the axle. If you do, then it will stop the wheels from turning. So you find the center, and you're going to push and turn righty tighty, lefty loosey, so we're going to turn to the right and twist it all the way in until it's pretty snug with the bottom of our car. Like this. Like that. And our wheels are still running, so we're good. We're going to line it up 
in the back. Again, center it. Righty tighty. So we're gonna turn that in. And you're good to start racing. And you should and um you can paint your car however you like. It's totally up to you.